In this video we're going to complete example 2 which is an angle of depression and we have a, a bloke named Grant and he's standing on a cliff that is 78 meters above sea level. So we'll start by drawing that, we'll draw a cliff face like so and we want Grant standing up the top of it. And it's 78 meters above sea level so let's label that and say 78 meters high. Now next it says he's looking at a boat that is 800 meters from the base of the cliff. So there's a boat way out here, let's draw a little boat, and it's 800 meters from the base of the cliff. Meters. You can see already that we've got a right angle here, starting to form our triangle. And then it says, calculate the angle of depression of the boat from the cliff. So if we draw a nice straight line going from the top of the cliff down to the boat like so, we, we get our right angle triangle. Now, what is the angle of depression here? Which angle is it? Whenever you do an angle of depression, from a certain point, what you need to do is you draw kind of like a dotted line, a dotted straight line that's horizontal, and the angle of depression comes down from there. So we're trying to find this angle here, which I've labeled theta. And we have a little bit of an issue because we really want theta to be inside the triangle, and at the moment it's outside the triangle, but it's not really a big deal because I can see that I have a Z shape here. I'm going to draw it like so. And whenever you see this Z shape, you will find that there are two angles that are the same as the Z shape. So this angle here will also be the same as theta. And the angle we see down here is actually technically an angle of elevation. And what you'll find is that the angle of depression will be the same as the angle of elevation. Anyway, let's redraw our triangle without all the, the images on it, just a more basic triangle with just straight edges, like so. 800 meters and 78 meters. So technically we're finding the angle of, of elevation but it's okay because it's going to be the same as the angle of depression. Okay, so let's label our triangle. 78 meters is our opposite. Our hypotenuse is opposite the right angle and our adjacent is the 800 meters. So we'll cross off hypotenuse and looking at our acronym SOKOTOA, we're going to end up using TOA again. TOA part of our acronym. So we're using TAN. TAN, always put your angle next, equals, and then your vinculum bar. Now, we've got to figure out what goes first on the fraction. And when we look at the word, sorry, the acronym TOA, you'll notice it goes T, then O, then A. So we've got to have O at the top of the fraction, A at the bottom. So O or opposite was 78 meters, that goes at the top, and A or adjacent was 800. That goes at the bottom. Okay, now we need to use our inverse function. We want to bring tan to the other side because we're trying to find theta or the angle. And to do that, we need to use inverse tan, which is tan with a little negative one on it. And our fraction must go in brackets. And now we need to do is bring up our calculator and go second function tan. And we get tan with the negative one, making sure you put your brackets in very important you do this, 78 divide 800 and close our brackets. And we get 5.56, so a very, very small angle. Notice that it wanted the angle given correct to the nearest minute. So we need to put this in degrees of minutes, second function DMS, and we get 5 degrees 34 minutes. Checking our seconds, our seconds are, are quite small, they're only 7.4 seconds, so we're not rounding it up. It's 5 degrees 34 minutes, not being rounded to 35. So we'll write that down. 5 degrees 34 minutes. And 
that's what theta equals and we want to finish off with a, a sentence for this so we'll just say that the angle of depression was 5 degrees 34 minutes anyway that concludes example 2 remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video